I'm Mike Hart. Here's what we're tracking on this Wednesday. The Bakersfield Homeless Center is hoping to send families home for the holidays, thanks to a vote from the Board of Supervisors. County Supervisors Tuesday approved an extra $346,000 to the Rapid Rehousing Program, which helps to move families off the streets and back into homes through rental and utility assistance. CEO Lewis Gill tells 23 that less than 6% return to homelessness. The center expects to help an additional 200 families move off the streets with this money. The program runs through June 30th. A highway dedication ceremony and official sign unveiling will be held today in honor of Staff Sergeant Ricardo Ricky Barraza, who was killed defending his country in 2006. Barraza served three tours in Iraq and three additional tours in Afghanistan, all by the age of 24. A portion of Highway 43 that runs through the city of Shafter will now be known as the Staff Sergeant Ricardo Ricky Bar Barraza Memorial Highday, Highway. The ceremony begins at 10 a.m. And there are just two more chances to take home a number of prizes in the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway brought to you by the Town & Country Village Shopping Center. Today's winner is Jeannie Philbrandt. She's the winner of prizes from various places like Subway, CVS, Auric Floor Care, and others in the village. Stick with 23ABC. We'll have another winner, Day 11, tomorrow. Let's bring in Elena right now, get an idea of what your weather is looking like this morning. Yeah, it's pretty calm and quiet out there. You see how the state radar has all of that rain well up to the north. We'll continue to see that as high pressure builds. So we're sunny and stable and in those low 60s here on the valley floor this afternoon. Mid 60s in Kernville and Isabella. That's up a little bit from yesterday under these sunny skies. 60 in Tatchby is up remarkably. 61 in Fraser Park is a beautiful afternoon there. And down into the desert, some low to mid 60s. So taking a quick look ahead, we're going to see mild temperatures the next couple afternoons with some passing clouds and then cooler air the Saturday into Sunday thanks to a passing cold front to our north. Doesn't look to be any rain this far south. That chance of rain Sunday into Monday is also staying too far to the north. We're still talking about a chance of rain Tuesday, Christmas Day into Wednesday. But I'm just calling for rain here on the Valley floor. We need to wait and watch the timing and trajectory of this system. But the last couple days we've been talking about the chance of a white Christmas for our friends in the mountains. That's now looking less and less likely because to really get a white Christmas, it needs to rain Monday and snow Monday night into Tuesday. So you're waking up to it before it melts away. So if this system comes on shore Tuesday, afternoon as expected and then turns to snow that would happen Wednesday hence no white Christmas. All right thank you Elena that's what's making news at this hour we'll have another update for you later today have a great one.